Hey guys, Michelle here from Michelle Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Sorry for the out of focus. Um, so today I have a scrapbook.com haul. It's a mini haul. Um, I just wanted to share with you. They had the week before Christmas a really good deal on some storage stuff. And you know, in January is when we're all gearing up for our new year's resolutions whether it's to lose weight not spend so much organize we all know the list right um i do this every year and i'm sure most of you do the same organization is something that i really <laughs> want to have um but sometimes always escapes me so i saw that they had a really good deal going on these boxes here um, i did pick up four of them i only have two on my desk but they were going for $14.99 um, on sale they're normally retail for 26 dollars and while i was getting some of those i have a ton of sequins i don't know if you guys do the same i have them off to the side because i kind of want to test them out and see how they fit but they had this combo deal which I checked it's already sold out but there was two of these as a combo pack or you can buy them separately but the combo pack typically retails for 36 34 dollars excuse me but they were on sale ridiculously for 9.99 i'm not kidding um so i did buy two packs of the combo because i wasn't sure with the depth which ones i would need because i have a variety of different packs of sequins uh, shaker bits whatever you want to refer to them as and I really wanted to see what fits in what um, along with that they did have a freebie going on that week and that was the happy new new year word die um, obviously I did not play with this for new year's but at least I have it in my stash for 2025 new year <laughs> and then I also picked up some small envelope sleeves I'm trying to organize my stamps and my dies and so I wasn't sure what I had would fit. And so I wanted to pick up the small ones. Um, these were not on a huge discount, but I just wanted to have them since I was placing the order. And you all know shipping costs are crazy. So I figured might as well just put them in. So that is really my mini haul that I want to share with you. I really got it done less than three minutes. But I do want to share with you what fits in it. Um, because if you did catch the live video with um, scrapbook.com, you did see how she did show um, many different things that fit inside of the containers. And so what I did was, my purpose for these containers, at least for myself, is to store my paper pads. Um, I have like two cubbies full of 4x6, 6x6, 6x8 uh 10 by 8 by 10 i mean all the weird sizes that we see out there that the pattern paper draws our attention and then you're like how do i make this fit <laughs> in my space so right now i have them stacked up in a cubby and i want to not have them stacked up in a cubby because i have fur babies and i hate that the fur goes everywhere no matter how many times i clean um it just likes to hide and it's really annoying so what I want to do, my intent for the rest of our time on this video, is to sort of open these up. And basically, what I'm going to do is, there is an extra... Okay, so this here comes out. This is typically what you could use to store your pens. I'm pretty sure this might fit in a drawer. And then I can use it that way as well. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it off to the side. And then you have your extra spacer here to fit in this little panel if you want to have your dividers. I really don't think I will need my dividers, but we will see. So what I have off to the side was I chose my Brutus Monroe panels. And I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to utilize the space. I chose some more Brutus Monroe 6x6, six six, I think those are. Yeah, 6x6. Six six. I did grab some, you know, 6x8 uh, paper pads. I have some more. <laughs> like I tell you, I have a bunch. So I'm trying to figure out, as you can see, some of these are taller, or you can't see. Some of these 
are taller than others. There's a better view. Um, mainly because you can see we have that little notch at the top. And so that is where my situation lies because since Brutus Monroe's are exactly six by six, there's no slip, they're gonna fit perfectly in here. As you can see, it will close. But these that have the little um, indentation at the top, I might have to go this way for them. And that will have to be something I will have to live with if I want to utilize that. Now my question that I'm trying to think of is how I'm going to use this concept. If I want to leave them like that, if I put everything to the side, so they all stay the same way. Now my question is these. So I would probably have to have my six by six here and my six by eights here. Now, one thing I will tell you, this indentation down here is embedded. It's not raised in case you were wondering. So my six by eights can, can go with my six by six. They would just have to have that division there because if I don't have the division, they would fall. So that's kind of nice. I'm really glad that they have that there, but you definitely will need to have one spacer in there if you want to utilize it like that. Now, because I have four of these containers, I might also have to do um, one, maybe the ones that are six by eight, I use my card panels for it because they're very small and I don't feel like I would be wasting the space because I can't put anything else there. So then I can grab, I grab like a whole bunch of six by eight. I'm kind of curious to see how many will fit here. So I'm gonna grab some more and I will be right back. All right, I grabbed some more paper pads because I'm really curious to see how many we can fit in here. Um, that's small. Now some of these have been used. So I'm gonna try to make sure I grab full ones. In fact, let's take out some of these so we are as accurate as possible. You could tell these are my used class Vicky Wooten category options. I think that is the whole thing for paint shop, is it? No, half a pad. We want to make sure we're as accurate as possible. This also shows me how much paper I have and <laughs> what I haven't played with either. All right. Now I do have some space here. I could fit in some of these to get stuck with the tape. Okay. So you see these little tiny ones, simple stories don't have the little um, section at the top. And what I'm referring to is these don't have a hole for the peg and these do. So that is why this one's a true six by eight and this one is not a true six by eight because you still have to cut off the top. So just keep that in mind as well. And then I have that one. That one's a little thicker. And then we have some scrapbook.com ones. So we do see the difference in thickness. So that will be kind of hard, but I am full. So we'll count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oops. Let's do this again. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 22 paper pads. That's insane. Um, it doesn't feel like there's that many in there. But some of them are thick and some of them are narrow. So keep that in mind. The other thing is, is that that tells me <laughs> that I'm probably going to use two of these. Now these are going to be heavy papers. Heavy, you know that. 
I'm going to be putting this on my um, Calyx unit. So you might probably gonna think, well, Michelle, that makes no sense. You didn't want them stacked up and now you do. But they're gonna have a top to them. And of course, I'm going to shake the camera for a second. And now it's closed. So now I can stack on top. So the other thing I did notice was that I didn't have any more card panels. I didn't have any more card panels, but I did have smaller ones that, you know, scrapbook.com has those little tiny ones. So I found these, these little tiny ones that they have. So these could fit in here with the card panels. So they're little tiny things. My journaling cards from Prima, I could also stick those in here. And that way it gives me some separation. Now, if you don't like it this packed, then obviously you're gonna need more containers, but at least you have an idea. Now, the next thing I'm probably gonna do is maybe put all my American crafts, because I do have a lot of Vicky Booten in here, um, and then organize it by a, uh, all upside down um you, you get what i'm saying so anyways that is one container i'm probably gonna fill the other three off camera and then share it with you guys so sit tight so i'm working on my second one and something i wanted to point out too so these are the rest of my six by eight paper pads i decided to put them in the front um this box because i don't really have the smaller card panels but i have um the next uh, six by six card panels and so I found all my Brutus Monroe which I'm pretty sure I might have some others lingering somewhere else um, and so I had put them to the side as I initially shared with you and then when I started to close it doesn't want to close so <laughs> I definitely have to put them the regular way I mean they're six by six but because that side has like I guess excess when I went them the normal route then it now lets me close it um but I just wanted to share that with you in case you're working on it as well and you're choosing other papers I don't want to take them out of their sleeves because I feel I'm gonna lose them <laughs> I just had that feeling um I know myself as a crafter and I feel that I might not, I don't know, unless I get divider tabs, but then even then I can't have them stick out with a tab. So then how would I know? So obviously I'm going to have to do some tinkering as I do play with these more and more, but I did want to share that with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get another container. And now we're going to see how many for uh, six by six pads we can put in one container. All right, so sit tight. All right, I acquired all my four by, I mean, my six by six paper pads. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go sideways because of that lip of the ones that have the circles on them. So again, some are going to be thicker than others. So nothing I can do about that in the sense of counting them. But that would be four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, gosh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's like half of one. We'll not count that one. This one, the same thing. So this one will be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
29, 30, under sliding, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, I gotta do some more scrapbooking, huh? <laughs> 37, 38, I'll put that one to the side, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, all right, so I am one that likes to use all my space, but I feel I can't really put any on the side because of those little slots there. So we had what, 42, and then I think 43. So 43, and let's make sure it closes. Come on. There we go. 43 six by six paper pads fit in here. So if you have more than 43, which you can see on my desk I do, <laughs> definitely need to buy two of them. Um, and they are stackable. They do have a mechanism here. Let me show you. So this is the six by six or six by eight. And you see, they do also have, oh, this is backwards. <laughs> I was going to say, they do also have a lever here um, that you can pick up. Um, I think they mentioned on scrapbook.com that they can carry up to 15 pounds, I believe. I don't know how much this paper weighs, but um, it is heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my other one and I will be right back. All right, so I finished putting all my uh, 6x6 paper pads in here. <laughs> of course, I think I need two more of these. Um, so I'm probably going to wait till they go back on sale <laughs> because... I have all these slimline pads from scrapbook.com along with Tim Holtz um, paper pads or paper collections um, that I also want to have separated. So that means I might be buying two more of these. But at least you guys have an idea that I fit 42, I think it was, of the 6x6 paper pads. Again, the sizes and the thickness of the paper pads were varying there was some that looked like it could be two um depending on the thickness then we discovered that i fit 27 i think it was um if i'm not mistaken correct me um with the six by eight paper pads and those had to go um the opposite direction so i think so far at least i cleaned out one cubby <laughs> um and that way these are not in um hair infested situations right because <laughs> that was my objective um the next thing i wanted to share with you guys was where are they um these containers now um they are different sizes that was the combo pack that i chose um these here are much taller than these as you can see but i do have different packs i have some that are this small um, I have some that are this big. Um, so I kind of wanted to bring a variety of packs to figure out what really fits in what sizes. Um, more so that I could gauge what I really needed as well as which ones I need more of. Um, stuff like this, I believe I got this as a freebie with Brutus Monroe. Things like this I bought from Simon's as Stamp as... Um, an item so this is how they sell it an item like this I did buy from Joann's or Joann so you know what that is um, this again is by Picket Fence this is Prima how it comes in the packaging like this I feel like these little ones could probably fit in here easily and then this I got from Michaels yeah it has its own container however I want it to be uniform um, so we'll see. I mean, I can kind of gauge the height right there. And it might be a little overflow, so I might leave these for last. But let's get started. I want to think that these little um, sprinklets, again, I know they have its own packaging. But I have a drawer that fits all of these, and I feel like it's all scattered. And I want to actually be able to grab and go. 
meaning take this out of my drawer and then bring it to my desk and then play with it. That, whoops. That is another objective of mine because you can't have everything at your desk, <laughs> even though we want it to be. Um, there's just no possible way. So I like bringing things to my desk and then putting it back. At least that's my always my game plan. Um, so this one here is a smaller one. Let's put this off to the side. Oh, there's another wrapper. Um, here, let's go down so I'm not bonking my head. And then come out. Perfect. Okay, so let's do these little tiny... Oh, let's do this one. This one's already open. You know what? I probably should get a funnel. It probably would be better, wouldn't it? But I don't know where mine went. So these are the screw off. And you know what I should do? Just in case, right? Because I don't need a mess. All right, so let's see. This probably would be too small. See, looks are deceiving. So I'm just shaking it to get all that stuff, all the air. I'm going to force it. Probably will not close all it. Ooh, okay. Now we're going to get all those trinkety bits in there, but I'll do that off camera because I don't think you need to. So let's try this one. Um, open it. Now, if you want to keep your names of your items... on your product, then I would suggest a little sticker to state that. Are we gonna be adventurous? Let's be adventurous. Let's see what happens with this one. I think I have another. See what happens. Here, I'll do it this way so you guys can see all the contents. Because this stuff is small, I feel like it would work. Probably making a mess. Yep. Stop. All right. Well, there's a little bit more in there, but I think it works pretty well. So that is two. So I'll just clear this up. Those little trinkety bits are cute. Don't want to lose them. All right, but it seems that I am already losing them. <laughs> Come on, there we go. All right, let's try one of the tall ones. Um, I'm thinking, um, let's see how much of the sequence one from Joanne's, Joanne, would go in there. So, should I probably cut a corner, like if it's piping on a cake? And that way I have more control. Whoops, I meant to do that. 
All right, so a bag from Joanne. Well, this is Park Lane. I think that's their product. Come on. And then everything else that fell in there, I'll clean up later. But now you know that that would fit in there. So I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more off camera because I'm pretty sure you don't need to watch me do it for every single one of them. But I'll at least I'll show you what ended up fitting. And then if you have any questions, just let me know. So as I am putting together <laughs> where they actually go, I'm realizing a few things. So if you saw that the Prima had four different packs, um, the kitty cats, I want to say that's what they are, um, did not fit into the small one, but yet the hearts did. And I think it's mainly because of the shape and quantity that's in them. And so I'm going to kind of give you an idea. Um, here are the little candy corns and they are flat. So I'm pretty sure they will all fit in here. Ah, that's if I actually make sure the container gets where it needs to go. So I'm just basically turning it and making sure that they all make it into the container and not a mess because it seems like that has been my pattern with these things. Um, I think the static is probably what doesn't help my cause. Okay. So as you can see, these all fit in here fine. I'm just going to shake it down. And so these are going to be available in this collection. But now these are very big. And so to me, I feel that is better just to try it in the larger one and not fight it. Um, and that's what I was experiment, ex experimenting with along with just discovering um, that is just better just to go with what you visually see and works. So something I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, ah, you see, I told you. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I think I made my slit a little too big. Just want to get that little piece out of there. Oh, there's two more actually. Um, and so at least the nice thing is, is that I didn't have that pack just lying around in my drawer. Um, now I have it in its appropriate place. Um, so one thing I did wanted to share with you, I attempted to put this bad boy in one of the larger ones, but of course, as you can see, there's way more in the actual jar. So I'm just going to wait till I deplete it to then put it in here. Um, this one that was from Picket Fence, I actually got it into the small one, but as you can see, it is jam packed in there. So, um, it probably should have gone in the larger one, but I really wanted to make it fit. So I did that. I did try to get um, this one into a smaller one, but then I realized that the ghost along with the spider webs just wouldn't work. So I didn't want to risk it. And these little gold stars were very clingy. They went everywhere. In fact, you probably can see some of them still on my desk. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you, I went through my stash. I still have more stuff to pull, but I did get one of these. I think this is from um, Joanne or might. I want to say it's Joanne in their clearance rack. Um, it was a very small one, but these are larger sequins and I was able to fit them in here. And that's really what I want to avoid is all the little packages everywhere. Um, having this all done nice and neat is my goal to be completely organized so I can grab <laughs> and put them where I need to go. Um, so I definitely want to share that with you guys. I will try to find some more, or not find, I will try to give you guys some more organizing tips that has worked for me. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you, but in case you are struggling with something um, and maybe my show and tell, I guess, um, helps you trigger something that ignites a concept that works for you. I know that sometimes happens to me. I watch a video and someone did something that struck a concept or a light bulb in my head that said oh but this would work for me in this way so that is my main objective for you guys to just share with you what works for me hopefully it's something that may or may not work for you but may in inspire you to think of something that does <laughs> so um thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me i hope um that you guys are having a fantastic start to your new year and then um, I will catch you on another video. So look out for that. If you are not a subscriber, definitely hit that subscribe button so you're notified 
for my next video um, and that way you can watch it whenever you are available to watch it. So take care guys. Catch you later.